As an artist, it's so important to be consistent. It's always a struggle with an artist of how often they can get in the studio. It's very important because you get into a rhythm. You have to do it. You have to keep doing it. And the more you can, the more consistent you are at it. The sacrifice has been emotional. I think it's been uh, creating the work, the frustration of those times when I'm dry, and I just feel like, why am I doing this? I, I just am so bad at this. And then there's those times where I sell a piece of work. That's the sacrifice of, of the emotional, of giving over and taking real risks as an artist. All these people, all these heads that I'm creating, whether they're female or male, or sometimes you don't know if they're female or male. I, I, I question now, like, I, I look at art magazines, is this old fashioned, is this modern rather than postmodern? And all what I could settle on was I am who I am. And so my inspiration comes from the modernists. And I think the reason that I make these figurative pieces is because we so often interact with one another. I, I am speaking to you, your face is right in front of me. That's what I respond to, either intuitively or even subconsciously. I like working in ink, I like working in acrylic paint, watercolor. I let the, the material kind of do its own thing with with my direction. And as I'm looking at an image, I don't wanna copy the image exactly. I just want something that I can respond to. I, I'm not afraid to paint on top of the painting. And, and actually, as I do that, it creates a certain texture to it. I really have no idea why I paint the way that I paint. No one ever taught me how to do that. No one ever said, well, when it's getting halfway dry, take it over and spray the whole thing up. No one taught me to paint on top of canvases until there was a half inch of paint on it. It's what I need to do. It just is a part of me of, of creating this layer because I think we as people, and I'm making pictures of people, that we are very complex and we're layered. My greatest accomplishment as an artist is that I'm still doing it. Since my days in high school where I connected with art and uh, desired to be an artist and uh, desired to be a professional artist, that I'm still making art.